Is that all of it? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, and welcome to my cooking show. Oh, my baking show, actually. Uh, so I don't bake. I'm inspired to make some lemon bars, though. I'm making Claire Sackett's lemon bars. She's the best. She always has a bit of an advanced edge to it, so that'll be interesting, but I figured why not go big, right? First things first. I have to grease this pan with some butter and then line it with parchment paper. I should also preheat the oven. I was gonna check that, but I've forgotten, of course. Let's grease this baby up. Oh yeah, satisfying. Yes. All right, we're gonna line the baking pan with some parchment paper. Now the way Claire did it is she just did longer across the side so that she had two flaps laying across. I think I will have to cut it down a little bit. See, this is what I don't love about baking is you have to be so precise. I don't like being precise. It stresses me out. Like, am I gonna cut this straight? Probably not, but we can make a fold. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, let's try this out. The flaps are gonna be pretty long, but I seem to have done a good job with this. Okay, so next we are gonna put together what we need for the shortbread base. I feel like I'm putting on a very serious professional tone because that's what Claire is like. So putting the flour in here and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, I don't have kosher salt, so I'm just doing salt. Oh, that's a little bit extra. That'd be very precise. I'm gonna check that level. It's not focusing. <laughs> of course it's not. Lovely. Next, the powdered sugar goes into the shortbread. Oh, this stuff gets everywhere. Okay, next. I need to take 10 tablespoons of butter, chop them into cubes, and mix it in to these dry ingredients. It's funny, you know, that I don't bake because I think I would be a very good baker because I am very precise and OCD. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I think it's just that I don't like indulging that aspect of my personality. It makes me feel stressed. I cube this up. And she said that chilled butter makes for a more tender shortbread. It's a very satisfying texture. All right, pop these babies in. I feel like I'm always hunching. Looking hot. So now I massage this until I actually incorporate the butter quite evenly. So she said more than a pie dough. In a pie dough, you leave the chunks of butter about pea size. But with this, you wanna actually incorporate it quite evenly. Okay, this butter does feel pretty soft. <laughs> so I hope that's fine. Oh, this feels really nice. I actually really am enjoying this. Damn, you should bake more often. Time to take this off because I keep trying to not get the sleeves to fall in and I'm doing things like this. So that's really attractive. <laughs> trying to be attractive for you all. So now it's time for the fancy schmancy fressage method, which is gonna be scraping the shortbread mound into this bowl to further incorporate the butter. We're gonna do that. I just need to find something to scrape it with. I think actually this could work. Just like do that. Man, I really hope I'm not like forgetting something, forgetting an ingredient, fucking it up. That would suck. <laughs> Try not to get hair in it. I am trying to look hot. So let's mound this up. Scrape. Shit. Scrape it. God damn it. This thing is not stable. Shit. Whatever, it's kind of an extra step anyway. Now we pat the shortbread down into the pan. She said if it's getting a bit sticky, you might wanna chill it, which I think we might need to do. All right, we've chilled it, distribute it. Poking holes into our little crust and then in the oven. Here we go. Middle, I'm assuming. Uh-oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> Baby's in the oven. God, these are so beautiful and good. Okay, so now I need to, oh God, I haven't done this in a while. Separate, this is really fun actually. <laughs> yes, baby. If you haven't tried this yet, folks, I recommend it. 
On to zesting our lemons. As I suspected, this whole process is taking longer than I wanted it to, but I guess I saw that coming. I feel like I do everything too slow. <laughs> See, and that's what happens when you try to rush. Dude, you're supposed to put that <laughs> So, maybe the reason things take me a long time is I don't do them the right way. I've really been noticing big dumb dumb I dumb dumb energy up here because this is how you're supposed to do this and it's way easier. Send help. I really don't want to be that girl, you know? I don't want to be the send help girl. We're just gonna keep trying. Okay, that seems to be just about naked. I didn't even check like how ripe are these lemons? Are they good? Just assumed. Hopefully I don't make some bitter ass lemon bars. This is probably my least favorite part ever of anything. I hate zesting. We're gonna check the crust. It's been 25 minutes. So is that too round around That's the edges? perfect. Okay. <laughs> that there to cool. I zested all the lemon, two tablespoons, took a while. Let's see what's next. It's time to, <laughs> can you hear the stress in my voice? It's time to juice the lemons. I really hope that this doesn't take me five hours. Now clearly I haven't cleaned anything up. Yeah. Okay. Getting my workout in today. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm gonna be sore after this. I'm trying not to make my neck twitch because I squeeze my like face muscles too much when I do stuff like this. Dude, don't film close up of that. I'm doing funny shit. Did you get my facial expressions? Come on. Do you know how to film for YouTube or not? Are you a pro or not? Okay. Let's not get violent. Oh, this one's too tall. Oh shit. 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 Oh my god. Back to rolling. Come. Follow me. Come over here. I'm gonna pour these in together and do a massage situation. And this is to release the wonderful lemony flavors and oils. So we massage and then we add the salt and then we're actually gonna strain out the zest. Ooh, that's satisfying. Can't let any yolk go to waste ever. Oh, this is starting to look fucking beautiful. So this step, as Claire informed me, is called blanching. It's when we're whisking air into this mixture and it's gonna get a lot lighter. I don't know, how long was she doing this before she started putting the lemon juice in? And how vigorously should I be doing it? I mean, we're getting close now, eh? Okay, we're starting to pour the lemon juice in slowly. Looking good, smelling good. So we're gonna bring this over to the stove and cook it up a little bit over medium heat, she said, stirring constantly to avoid coagulation and I'm gonna check it with a spoon. At what point, I don't know, because she was like, okay, it looks done, and now I'm gonna check it. But she didn't say how long to do this for. <laughs> so that makes me a little bit nervous. So we want even consistency. That looks pretty close, but it is kind of foamy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Putting in the butter now. I don't know why it needs to go in bit by bit, but that is the, kind of the theme here. Mm, it's gonna make it so rich and creamy. All right, last step here. My hand is greasy, man. Ready? I'm so weak. Why isn't it going through? Where can I put this safely? Nowhere. <laughs> she was doing this too, so we're good. So this will go in for another 25 to 30 minutes checking for some bubbling on the edges, like big bubble, bubbles, like puffing up, and uh, a uniform jiggle. I'm excited. I hope it's good. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Puckeringly good. All right, let's pop this baby in. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done. Cook my child. Cook. Where's my iPhone? It's been about 26 minutes now. That does seem pretty uniform, right? The jiggle? Yeah. Is it though? Yeah. 
I'm exhausted. Finally eating some stale room temperature cardboard pizza. We're gonna wait for that to chill. It's gonna take a few hours. And then we'll slice it up, sugar it up, maybe even give it a taste. Make sure it's not too metallic. See you later. See you later. Okay, it's been chilling for two hours in the fridge. Wow, it's weighty. <laughs> it is dense. Something's clicking, clicking in my head. I think I hear it too. <laughs> Of course, this is gonna take fucking half an hour just cutting it. <laughs> Pretty good. It's very lemony. It's hard for me to tell because I just brushed my teeth, which was a really bad idea.